All right, hello, this is Aldo Figueroa, and we have here is part one of a three-part Maya tutorial. In part one, I'm going to go over how to create a turntable animation. Part two, we'll go over how to set up ambient occlusion. And then part three is going to go over how to set your render settings. Um, before we begin, I just want to note that I am using Maya 2011-2011. Uh, so if these features or settings have been adjusted or changed in future um, newer versions such as 2012 or 2013, uh, just note that I am using 2011. So these features might have changed in some of the newer versions. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we have right here is this model of this Mighty Mug. Uh, what we want to create is we want to create a turntable animation which is basically just a camera that goes 360 degrees around your character. So we're going to use what is called the turntable feature. Now the good thing about this is that we don't need to create a separate camera. What we could do is use our current perspective camera to set up our animation uh, to set up the camera wherever we want it. So we're going to go ahead and do this right now. So before we begin what I want to do, I want to bring up the resolution gate. So this will help me frame my animation to frame my character. So within my perspective camera, I'm going to go here to view. I'm going to select camera settings and I want to open up or turn on resolution gate. So great. Here he has the resolution gate. I'm going to change my resolution right now. It's set to 320 by 240. I'm going to go into the render settings, which is this icon right here. Or you could always go to window rendering editors render settings. Within the common tab, which is located here, I'm going to scroll down. Well, it's already down here. I'm going to scroll right here. I'm going to change the preset and I want to select uh, let's see, my render settings of which I want is HD 720, which is 1280 by 720. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up my my camera. So you get to select using this perspective camera where what view you want. Do you want something that's down low, zoomed in? So what I want, I don't want something that's down low. I kind of want it what would almost be eye level. Uh, if you want something looking down, you could do that as well. Uh, depending on your object, it's going to warrant a different point of view, different perspective. I'm going to start somewhere right here. Now, let's see, there we go, that looks great. What you have to do, set your camera up and select your object. Right here my object is selected. So go ahead and go to the animation menu set. I'm already here and we are going to go to animation, turntable, option box. Within these settings here, First, you want to set how many numbers of frames do you want your camera to go around. Right now, it's set to 24, which is 24 frames, which, depending on your settings, it's set to one second of animation, which is way too fast. Uh, you're going to have to time this. I've determined that I want this to be at least seven seconds, so I'm going to change my frames to 168, which is 100, uh, I'm sorry, which is uh, seven seconds at 24 frames per second. You select a direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to keep clockwise and go ahead and tell it to do turntable. Once I press this button, you're going to notice down here where it says perspective, it's going to change name. It's going to create a new camera that is called your turntable camera one, and it's only going to rotate 360 degrees around your model. So let's go ahead and create this. So now if you notice right here, it says turntable camera one. I want to change black back my range, which is 168. Return. And now when I press play, you can see that it, it's rotating around my model. I'm just going to click to deselect it. Great. And it's easy as that. Uh, you don't have to create a separate camera. You don't have to rotate it around it. Uh, Right now, my model is ro is created at the origin axis. It doesn't even have to be there at the origin axis. It's going to revolve 360 degrees based on the distance of, from the camera to your model around your object. Let me go ahead and stop this. 
And this is set up for 1280 by 720. Um, and it's good to go. So this was part one of this tutorial. And the next step, I'm going to show you how to set up ambient occlusion. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section. Um, good luck. Okay, thank you.